So you've run a gel and you have great looking protein bands. Now you want to quantify your gel to find out how much protein is in each band. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to use ImageJ software for protein quantification. Before starting this process, be sure to take a good quality picture of your gel and download the free ImageJ software onto your computer. Now that you have ImageJ and a picture of your gel, let's begin. First, select File, and then Open, and choose the image of the gel you want to quantify. Next, Convert your image to grayscale by selecting Image, Type, and 32-bit. You can then adjust your image's brightness by going to Image, Adjust, Brightness, Contrast. You can now begin to analyze your gel. Select the Rectangular Selection tool on the left side of the tool menu and draw your rectangle around the band in your first lane. Then go to Analyze, Gels, select First Lane. Then drag the box from the first lane to the second band in the gel. Go back up to Analyze, Gels, select Next Lane. Then drag the second lane box to the third band in the gel. Go back up to Analyze again, Gels, select Next Lane. Repeat this process for the fourth and final band in the gel. To finish this step, go back up to Analyze Gels and Plot Lanes. This will bring up a graphical depiction of band intensity for each band selected in the image. Next you want to select the Straight Line tool from the tool menu and mark off the area under the peak for the first lane. Then you want to scroll down and mark off the area under the peak for the second lane and repeat this process for the next two lanes. After all of the band peaks are marked off, select the wand tool from the tool menu. Use this wand tool to select each band peak. This will outline each of the peaks in yellow. After selecting the last peak, another window labeled Results will open. This window contains all of the values for the areas under each band peak selected from the plots. You can then copy and paste your results into an Excel spreadsheet to use for further calculations. You have now successfully used ImageJ software for quantification. Congratulations! It was that simple.